Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to check out Glitch Space, which was so generously donated to me by Deathwish808, back on December 25th, 2016, after I donated to him, Metamorphic, I believe. Uh, as you can see, we've got a Facebook and a Twitter icon down here, don't know what they're doing there. They don't- they don't make a hover sound like these menu buttons do, but we've got Story, Sandbox, Settings, Credits, or Quit as our options. This is just how the game starts up, so... I don't- um, I saw the trailer, and I saw a really, really old indie impressions by Rockley Smile from 2014, I think. But otherwise, this is gonna be completely blind. So, let's do story. Cannot continue, so let's do a new game. Oh wow, it just begins! No intro cinematic? Nothing. Right, good. Wow, this, uh... This feels really weird the way my camera turns. I think what happens is... That... I think I'm so used to having mouse acceleration on, you know, the enhanced pointer speed, uh, enhanced pointer precision option in Windows, that... I'm just not used to having it turned off in games and whatever. Move, WASD! <laughs> That's an interesting way to display that to the player. So, I've heard that there's... some sort of, like, programming in this game with flowchart programming, but what I saw in the Indie Impressions video didn't make much sense. Like, some of it... some of it was, like, actual scripting, and then some of it was just, like, weird connect this to that, and some sort of... for some reason that works. Jump space? Yeah, yeah, I figured that. Wow, this is a big jump! Holy crap, we can jump really high! I did not expect to be able to jump this high. What is this down here? Oh, this makes a weird sound. Let's- let's not have that, please. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's a lot of harsh sounds in this game. If you watch the trailer, you'll- you'll hear all sorts of harsh, otherworldly sounds. Some of them are pretty bad on the ears, so you might... might want to turn down the volume if you're afraid of harsh sounds. What is this thing? Is this gonna kill us? No, it's just gonna push us side to side. Pretty harm- harmless. We've got a portal here. Oh, look at that! It's got actual portal rendering. Isn't that neat? It also feels like it's lagging a little bit. <laughs> Let's just jump through. Yeah, looking at that causes all sorts of lag. Hmm... Oh! Well, I fell down. I guess I didn't need to be up there anymore. <laughs> I just kinda wanted to look around. I didn't mean to actually fall. What is... Can almost get up here, but not really? Nope, can't jump up here. I feel like my FOV's kinda low, but there's not much in the way of settings regarding FOV, so I can't really turn up the field of view at all. There's no- there's not a sprint key, I looked at the controls. Shift just changes action or something. Look at that anima animation. I almost feel like I can move faster sideways, but I think that's just a trick of perspective. What do we have here? A magical cube from Fez? Interesting. Well, I have a cube now. It is in my lower right hand, I suppose. Oh! Right click. This is the Null Canvas. You can add and connect nodes to the canvas to create programs that affect the red cuboids in the world. Nodes are selected from my pop-out menu. Left-click to continue. Click canvas. Select numbers. Select 10. Nodes can be connected in two ways. Clicking and dragging the output of a node to the input of another, or by clicking and dragging the nodes together. In the connection- sorry, if the connection has been made correctly, a line will appear. Nodes can only be connected if their output and inputs match. Different types have different shapes. Numbers, for example, output a triangle. Ah, so we have a type system! That's nice to see! It's very, very nice to see a type system, I must say. Uh... I said I'm supposed to be able to just drag this. Nope, 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 nope. Can I- Okay, wants me to do it that way, I suppose. I suppose I'll have more freedom later on, but for the tutorial, it wants me to do it a specific way. And I can't even see it anymore to right-click. Oh man, yep, that definitely causes some frame drops. I'm gonna have to make some adjustments, I suppose, in order to stop that from happening. Oh, and the screen faded out. Hello? What? That's not where I just came from, is it? 
What happened there? What did I do wrong? Am, am I just... Wait, is this the same room? I think this is the same room. They trapped me in a tutorial, I suppose. <laughs> Locked nodes can't be deleted. Gotcha. Oops, that's, uh... Here. Numbers. Uh, let's try one. Let's see what that happens. Why can't I click and drag from here like it said I could? It said I'm supposed to be able to click and drag from here. Is that not a thing? Am I imagining that? Is it a right click? No, right click deletes. Gotcha. Okay, let's just do it this way then. That way seems to work. Can't move this. Whatever. Let's close out of it and see what one does. Aha! So that is what one looks like. Well, let's just stand on it and do two. Or we can just jump up here, I suppose. But we actually want to get up there. Oh, we can actually jump up here. But not all the way. Alright, well, let's- let's try the maximum. Let's try... Oops. I probably could have edited that. Let's try... Oh, not 20! That would probably crush me. I think I would like to avoid that. I think it updated in real time. Let's- let's- let's look- let's get a perspective like this. Yeah, it updates in real time. That's neat. What about 20? Oh, 20 works! Fancy that. I thought it might crush me on the ceiling, but nope. It's just fine. A-okay. There's another one there. Oh, did I just... Oh, it's not even... Okay, it's just a platform. Gotcha. Why- I- why do I need to keep right-clicking? I wanna edit. Actually, you can't edit. Really? You cannot edit. I'm- I'm clicking all sorts of ways and you cannot edit, apparently. Fine. Alright, let's walk back on here. And then... Do that instead. I wanted to try and jump over here. Ah, whatever. Fine, let's just proceed like a normal person, I suppose. Uh, how do I break the connection? Oh, you can just click on it, isn't that nice? There we go. Right, where to next? Over there? I bet this moves across rather than up and down. How do you know in advance, though? Move object forward. Oh, right, that's- yeah, it tells you inside. Yeah, move object up. Okay, that's how you know where it's gonna go. Uh... Let's try the full 20. Why not? There we go. Piece of cake. And then we have a little staircase in case you fall down. Neat. These are namespaces. They alter the available functions in your toolbox. <laughs> cool. Namespaces are in actual programming languages. Neat scenery. This kind of reminds me of that game that Nock played. The, um... What was it called? Ah, I forgot what it was called. But yeah. Just the- the artistic style. Of course, lots of animal games will look the same. What the? What did I just do? What just happened? Touching this? That is a loud sound effect. Holy crap, did I not? I thought I adjusted the volume. Nope, apparently that's just really loud. <laughs> apparently I don't do anything with this, I just walk on it? Okay. Gotcha. Cards connecting nodes together can be cut to break the program. Ho hover over the card until a pair of scissors appears and then left click. What happens if I right click? Nodes can also be deleted entirely by right clicking on them. Okay, left and right click doesn't matter. Logic has been added to your toolbox. Oh yeah! We get to work with logic now. Hmm... There we go. So, booleans look like the T-Tetra shape, apparently. I'm not sure what this output means just yet. We haven't- we haven't used the output of that yet. Look at that, we've made the object non-solid by passing it a false boolean. I have to say, the movement speed in this game is pretty slow. I would like to move faster if I could. 
All right. Do that. And then we need to actually step onto it. And then edit it again. And then, let's just go a full 20. There we go. Now we're on the other side. And that seems to be it for this tutorial. Neat. Beware of data flow. Oh, that was in the trailer. Let's try... We can actually change the data flow to not be solid? Wait, wasn't it already... What? What did I click on? I don't even know what I just- Oh, I clicked on something behind it in the distance. Okay. Uh... Well, gee, how am I supposed to get past this if it says beware of data flow? Do I need to find another way around? No. Is there an object that I'm not seeing? Oh, there's this thing- There's a whole object right here I could just make solid, and that would make the data flow get blocked by it when it turns solid. There we go. I didn't see it, it was so hard to see because it was transparent. The sound is still there, though. Really loud. Okay, we got new tools, apparently. Some nodes look a little different. They are called abstractions and contain multiple nodes which create full functions. As you progress, these abstractions break apart, giving you more freedom. Oh, neat. Vectors have now been added to your toolbox. Be sure to use the widget in the bottom right to find out which vector to use. This is really cool, because this really is like programming. Wait, what did it say? I didn't read that message, oops. <laughs> right. Move objects. Uh, okay, we have a new data type there. I'm assuming that's what vectors are. Uh, I don't know, let's try... along Y. How do I edit the values? That's a neat- that's a neat effect. I really like that. How do I- no, really, how do I edit this? Oh, I have to input- okay, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's try... 10. Can I do negative? I don't- I didn't have an option there, did I? Yeah, there's no negative option. Alright, well that works. I kinda wanted to move it down so that I could then get on top of it, but yep, that works either way. What do I want to do... here? Hmm. How about... Ah, I guess it's a guess between X and Y. I mean, sorry, X and Z. I don't know which one... it wants. Okay, so that's the one I want. Let's try... 20. Nope, doesn't come close enough. I was hoping maybe we could use it to block the data stream, but nope. Let's try this one instead. There's that. Taken care of. And we need to move these closer to us. Oh, it's already got the correct axis for us. Hey, fancy that. And then... I'm guessing that one we want to move vertically. But let's go ahead and move this one back to where it was. 20. Oh, that startled me. And then... Along Z? Why would I want to do that? No, let's try... 20... Along Y. Where does this put me? Oh. Not quite where I expected to be, but the, hey, that works! Okay, so it... It was moved next to that one, and then it moved back. I see. I see. Eventually we'll be able, we'll be able to combine vectors, I assume. At some point. Maybe we'll get an addition function. Some cuboids have pre-programmed functions that cannot be edited. Well, if I can't edit it, then what's the point? Apply force upwards? It's a bounce pad! Hey! It applies forces upwards. That's neat. 
did they really expect me to make that jump? Oh crap, I can't make that. Well, that is a awesome respawn animation. Hmm. Right, so. No need to mess with that. We wanna mess with this one. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Ah, that's much more attainable. Hey, there we go. Ta-da! Problem solved. What is this? Is this data flow? Beware of data flow. <laughs> oh, what the? Why did my why did my little cube thing jitter when I did this? I don't know what happened there. What is that thing? Another apply force upwards. Do we need to go on the roof? Holy crap! That's not at all where I thought I was gonna land! Well, at least the checkpoints are generous. <laughs> oh, I need to move that thing. Gotcha. This is what I need to move. Let's see, vectors. Uh... I don't know, that one, maybe? Hold on a sec, what was- what was this other one? This one was a long X. Okay, so that's the one I want to use. Yeah, that works, I suppose. Nope. This one. A long X. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, that almost didn't make it. That was startling. I assume we want to block the data flow, right? Let's try... a long Y. And then... Oh, let's just try 10. Hey, perfect! It's pretty nice that you can just guesstimate the numbers you need and it works out. Scenic. Right, so this one... Oh, that is... Oh, holy crap! That was very strong. 100? So that's what 100 looks like. Neat. Tool upgrade! What? Why do I need a tool upgrade? What does that enable even to do? Can I edit that? No. Oh, what the? That's weird. There's some weird collision on the wall there, my friend. Nope, nothing I can see just yet. Maybe I should just proceed forward and stop trying to sequence break the game. <laughs> Hold shift and left click to place a cuboid. Oh! Oh no. Well, that's, um... That has severely lowered my expectations for this game, unfortunately. Use a minimal to be able to change where you spawn the cuboid. Yeah, it's... it's, uh... it's Minecraft... it's Minecraft with programming now. Well, It was fun while it lasted. I thought we were gonna have puzzles, but now we're gonna have to be making our own solution or whatever. Wait, what did it say? Use the middle mouse wheel. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so I guess I just have to make a staircase then. Oh, interesting. Can only have one at a time. Here, let's try this. Can I not? I can't. I can't place it. Really? I can't place it while jumping, huh? Or while on it. Yeah, you can't place it while on it, apparently. Huh. Well, then what am I supposed to do here? Yeah, I don't have anything to connect it to. Hmm... Am I missing something? I feel like I missed a crucial piece of text. 
Yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. What am I supposed to do now? Am I missing something obvious? Holy crap! That might actually work, but I'm not sure if it's intended. Ooh. That's risky. Oh crap, I fell off. Oh my gosh, let me on here, please. The frame rate. I need to fix the frame rate between episodes here. <laughs> that frame rate really tanks sometimes. Okay. No idea if that's intended, but I'll take it. Alright, where do I actually need to go? Come on. I had that. Uh, I guess over there? Oh, how- I can't make that jump, though. Oh, I just need to- duh, I need to do it from this side. The game will let me place it, that is. And then I need to cross this gap, I suppose? Can I make it? Oh! Man, those jumps really make me nervous. Doesn't help with the frame rate. Oh, fade to black. I don't understand why it looks like there's more to the level and then it fades to black. I think I think it must be like a mirror. Ah, oh, I see. So it's just it's just the same place. It doesn't it actually has to load separate levels. Okay, that's a lot less impressive than it initially was. Huh. Well, Apparently I've got a new namespace now. Hey! Fancy that. Yep, this one, this one's locked, but we can look at it. Counter, that's neat. We can see what we will eventually be working with. Anything else in here? Nope, not really. Okay, now I just gotta carefully... Woohoo! Oh gosh. Oh, that's weird. When I jumped, I stopped dead in mid-air, which shouldn't really be possible. Oh yeah, this thing doesn't have reference frames at all. That's... Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't it have inertial reference frames? That's strange. That's like one of the first things you program into any game nowadays. This is pretty looking. Oh crap. Wait, what did that say? Remember, your personal keyboard is red and can also be manipulated. Uh, thank you, water fountain of knowledge, I think. <laughs> uh, where, do I, where am I supposed to go? I just need to create a keyboard. I really do not like this mechanic. I do not like the fact that this mechanic even exists in the first place. Maybe I have the ability to make it raise where I want it to go now. Let's just find out. Can I not click? There we go. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Abstraction. Move object. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Let's say... 10. And... A long Y. Ta-da! There we go. Yes, yes, I, I figured that out. Wait, where do I need to go from here? Against this white wall? What am I even looking at here? What is this? Is this just a decorative light? I can't tell what I'm looking at. Oh, I need to go up here, I guess? Okay, that makes sense. Oh, it just disconnects all the nodes for me. Well, that's nice. I'm glad I don't have to redo everything. I just have to reconnect everything. It's actually... Actually changes to 20. There we go. Is this one so that's locked. K. 
Can I even create numbers that high? I don't think I can. Let's- let's- let's not delete that, maybe. <laughs> I wanna keep that intact. Okay, that's at least a little bit closer, right? At least it looks closer. Oh, come on. When you let go, you stop dead. Like, I'm moving forward, and then I let go, and I stop dead in the air. That is not the kind of physics I was expecting. Like, I'm- I'm used to sort of coasting forward, like in Mario. But, uh... Stopping dead. Not really what I expected. Huh. Well... We stopped having tutorials, and now we're just making our way... slowly and boringly... Upstairs. Truly compelling gameplay. Exactly what I would have wanted to buy the game for. What the? Uh. Did I just screw myself? <laughs> what happened here? Oh, good. Okay, they spawn under my feet. But, uh, yeah, that's. Going upstairs is not too compelling, personally. What about... Out of bounds? A cuboid went out of bounds. When this occurs, the canvas is reset and the cuboid is returned to its original position. Uh... It doesn't look out of bounds to me. I don't know what you're talking about, game. It looks perfectly in bounds to me. Move object... In that direction... By 20. Wow. Check this out. We can see the roof here. You know, this is like... You would think that they would hide a secret here, but all I see is a little post there. I hope that's not a secret. Now I wanna check. Holy crap. Oh, I can't even go there! Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll continue. Oh, what the... What just happened? Sometimes certain functions in the toolbox will become unavailable. What? Why? Because you don't know how to design puzzles in such a way so as to make them not useful? I don't even understand why the game bothered to introduce this thing, cause all- Cause for all you know, when you touch it, something random and unknowable to you will happen. Man, that's some creepy sound effects. Hmm. Oh, that's... what? Okay, there's a little tiny bit there. Rotate object. Hey! They didn't even tell me about it. Um... Let's try this way. Oh, now I have 90. Oh, and I can't use 20? Okay. Hey, there we go. Let's move this guy up. By... Ah. Uh. Let's say... I don't know, 90 balls to the wall. There we go. Oh my gosh! What?! Oh, is that considered out of bounds, huh? Fine. Have it your way. We'll do... ten. <laughs> uh... There we go. Move up. Does that make you happier, game? I guess so. Apparently we cannot go 90. Yep, it just goes into the sky and right back down again. What's 
going on there? Oh, that's a- that's a thing. Wait, you want me to walk all around the long way? Are you crazy? Man, so much stuff looks like it could just be a place to hide secrets. <laughs> Gosh, the game. Stop lagging, please. This was... a slight mistake. Like, why do you give me the place- why do you give me the ability to just place blocks wherever I want if you don't want me to do it? That is not what I expected to have happen. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, uh... That's a rotate object. That's not what I wanted. Uh, no. Abstraction, move object. And now it's just stuck rotated, huh? Oh, I'll have to replace it. There we go. Now let's actually move it, and uh, clearly we want a long Z. Is there a way to do negative yet? Do we have that option? Doesn't look like it. Oh well, that works. Yeah, who needs that thing when we can just do it our way? Right. Well... But it's usually only temporary? What, you mean the end of the episode? Yes, the end of the episode is usually only temporary. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!